there are so many variables that come together tragically to end one's life. There's been a lot of media coverage and media hype about former football players and others who have taken their lives. Well, that makes good headlines. It's incredibly tragic stories. But we don't know if CTE causes suicide. There's no way to say that any one thing causes someone to take their lives. It's also not inevitable. And it's not part of the older presentation of CTE where more of the cognitive difficulties and memory impairments seem to progress. Suicide is not an inevitable part of CTE. Suicide is complex with many, many things that come together to tragically take one's life. Where CTE comes in is that it can result in changes in mood and emotion. It can result in problems with the regulation of emotion. And it can result in the inability to stop one's impulses. All of that because of the parts of the brain that are involved, the parts of the brain that are being hurt by the disease. If those parts of the brain are causing problems with emotional control and rage and aggression, as well as sadness, despair, and the inability to put a lid on it to stop one's actions, then in some cases that all might come together in a certain specific circumstance to lead to suicide. But it's not an inevitable part. And there isn't a direct cause-effect thing between CTE and suicide.